In this video, we'll look at interfacing custom IP with a PolarFire SOC MSS. In this case, the custom IP has an APD slave interface, which means that it can connect to FIC3 of the MSS. In the Icicle Kit reference design, a core APB3 is already instantiated and connected up to FIC3 to provide access on this bus. If we double-click on this core, the configurator will open. By default, slot 2, 3, and 15 are enabled. Let's connect the custom peripheral up to slot 5 on core APB3. When we enable this slot and select OK, the core will highlight in red to show that the ports have changed. So, right-click on it and select Update Component. Now, if we zoom out and find the core, we have an additional port called Slave 5 that's now available. If we scroll over to our custom register, we can zoom out and bring it next to Core APB3. Let's connect Slave 5 to the APB Slave interface that we added onto the core. You can see that the P-Select signal gets remerged in with the Slave. We also need to connect up the P-Clock and P-Reset signals, and these are going to be connected to the same clock domain as FIC3. If we zoom out of the design and zoom into the MSS, the FIC3 clock signal is available here. we can see that it's going to the SDIO register. It's also coming out of the PCIe base design, and it's connected up to this core GPIO, which is another APB peripheral. We want to connect the P-Clock up to our custom register so it's in the same clock domain as FIC3. We also want to connect up the reset signal for this clock domain to the register. Now that we've done that, we need to connect up the register output. Let's connect it up to LED0. This is currently connected to MSS GPIO 2-bit 16. Disconnect this GPIO now and select LED0. and we will connect it up to the register bit output of the custom register. Now that we've done that, we can generate the smart design. We can also select the View Memory Map option here and expand the MSS to view the memory map for each of the AXI switches. We can see FIC3 available here, which connects up to the core APB3. and we can see the address range for the custom register that we connected up to slot 5. This is the memory mapped address from the MSS point of view where this register will be available. As the register base is connected up to an LED, constraints need to be provided. The constraints included with the Icicle Kit reference design automatically include a constraint for LED0, so we don't actually have to add anything. You can return to the design flow and the synthesis place and route, generate FPGA data array and generate bitstream steps need to be run before programming a target. Double-click on Generate Bitstream to run the required tools. Now that the synthesis step has completed running, you can select several of the reports to view. If we view the second last report on the resources, you can see the resource usage of the custom register file that we added.
Now that the bitstream has been generated, this design can be programmed to a board by selecting Run Program Action, or a Flash Pro Express job can be generated to share this programming file with other users.